Well, they were all built way back in the mid 1800s. Now, let's say you decide you're going to take a walk through the neighborhood. Well, you'll notice, folks, as it's, as it's on every single home on one of the walls, they do have that original date placard. It lets you know what year the home was built. All right, no one that's trying to tell me anybody what year the home to the right was built. Anybody? Oh, Monica, you're good. It's in bit five, a lot of them. Well, Johnny, you claim to have seen the movie, Midnight the Garden of Good Evil. Any chance you also read the book? You don't read it, huh? Yeah, I had you read it. Have you read the, read the book? You would remember Clary's Restaurant to the right? It's actually featured in this book. Now, to remind everybody here, it was right there at this restaurant where that character Luther did have breakfast here every morning. As he was trying to come up a way to poison our Savannah water supply. There you go, the horse flies, yes. <laughs> yeah, we used to have Minerva here. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, Lady Shipley, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we are, guys. Check it out, Lafayette Square. By the way, this is the square named after the Marquis de Lafayette. Now, the Marquis de Lafayette, well, he was actually a French patriot. But, ladies and gentlemen, it was during the Revolutionary War. By the way, he was only at the age of 20 at that time. That's when the Marquis de Lafayette became a soldier that did fight with us right here on our side, becoming the right-hand man of General George Washington. All uh, right, know you guys doing the on and off tours. As you know, you've had different tour guides. Now, I want you to know we got like 40, 50 different tour guides, and we all have our own specific favorites. So, I'd like to have this opportunity to show everybody here mine. Right there in front of us, guys. Check it out. We got the Hamilton Turner Home. By the way, the Hamilton Turner Home, you're looking at the very first home in Savannah to have electricity. Hey guys, you know back in those days, the colonists, they'd all gather in the square every night just to watch this guy flip his lights on. And they thought the home would explode. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are directly in front of us. I'd like to present the beautiful St. John the Baptist Cathedral, the Basilica. Now our beautiful cathedral. Yes, originally built in 1876. Oh, and I'm also very proud to mention, guys, our cathedral. This has been voted as one of the top 10 things I see in the entire world. Oh, oh you guys are in luck. From now until yeah, 5 o'clock, yeah. our cathedral is currently open to the general public, meaning they'll let you go inside, walk around, take pictures. That one, folks, it is a free tour. Stop number two. If you guys don't mind, I'd like to ask everybody on this trolley a quick question. Hey, yeah, uh, any chance you guys might remember, you know, back in the day, when us metal men, and we used to sell our differences with pistols. Hey, guys, what was that known as? Product a duo. Now, I'm very sure most of you remember how it used to work, right? Yeah, you know the two guys. They'd stand back to back. And then they would take those ten paces forward. They turn, oh, and then they would shoot. Boom! Right there! Savannah's doing grounds, which is currently a children's playground now. <laughs> now, as we know, guys, the winner goes on his way, right? The loser, and he did not have far to go. Because now we do have the Colonial Park Cemetery. Oh, if you don't mind, I'd like you guys to actually notice the red brick crypts. Hey, uh, did you guys know you can actually fit up to nine of your favorite family members in these crypts? Oh, uh, just so you know, during the Civil War. Well, guys, this is where those Union soldiers would camp. Now, you know, during the winter time of the Civil War, well, you know what the soldiers would do. They'd bust open the crypts and cry all the bodies out. They'd occupy the crypts so they could stay warm at night. Blame Allison. Yes. Hey, uh, while I'm here, let me find out. How many here use this trip advisor? What's that? Anybody? We said yes. Raise your hand. 
Oh, what's your name? Janet, you use it, huh? Hey, if you don't want me asking, Janet, have you used it recently? You did, huh? Oh, Fire department order. Uh, let me, uh, Janet, any chance? Did you see the complaint we got? Oh, well, then, thank God, never mind. <laughs> well, just to let you know, guys, on TripAdvisor, this lady complained that their tour guide actually gave everybody on the trolley this quiz. Which I couldn't believe it either since I'm the tour guide. And I believe I forgot to mention, you're about to get a quiz. Let's see what you guys know. Yeah, Tony, you better get this right. Put away your Google machine. Yes. All right, guys, get ready here. Actually, before I give you this quiz, please notice the four column mortuary right there in the center of that cemetery. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's the one honoring Button Gwinnett. Button Gwinnett, he was the second signer on our Declaration of Independence. By the way, he lost in a duel to General Rockland McIntosh. All right, guys, now let's give you a little quiz. So on this drawing can actually tell me anybody. Well, who was the very first signer on our Declaration of Independence? Oh, Allison, you're really good. Yes, you went absolutely not a damn thing. John Hancock. Uh, yeah. All right, now, Allison, since you got that one right, do me a favor, tell everybody on the trolley. Well, the exact number of men who signed the document. How many, Kathy? Oh, no. Anybody? Kathy, yeah, speak Come on, go higher. Like, go 56. 56 total signers, John Hancock the first. Hey, let me give you an easy one. Who is the, who can tell me? Anybody? You were close. Well, who was the guy that was the author? The man who wrote the document. Jefferson. There you go, Thomas Jefferson. By the way, just want you to know, guys, Thomas Jefferson was the very last to sign his the own document. Sign. Go up. Do I go on TripAdvisor now or later? <laughs> 